Hey everybody, we're at Citizens Bank Park. Welcome to Take Off with John Clark. And it is sponsored by and presented by Live Casino, hotel in Philadelphia right over here. And Kyle Schwarber, our special guest right here. Kyle, I was just thinking about how you've basically been playing for four different cities in less than two years. Is it pretty cool to know that you're settling here in Philly now? Yeah, it's definitely really nice. Um, yeah, last couple of years we're uh, 2020, we were in Chicago, and then uh, we go to Washington, get traded at the deadline to Boston, and then uh, now coming here and getting the chance to uh, sign a multi-year deal, and you know, just gives us that that little rest of ease, knowing that we're going to be here in Philly for the next four years, and you know, can't be more excited about it. Our family, uh, it, you know, starting to grow now with having a little one, and. Uh, it, it just makes, you know, it, it, everyone's really happy to be here in Philly and start our family here in Philly. It's pretty wild what you're doing here in June. Uh, Jason Stark sent out a, a stat that you have the highest home run per at bat ratio in June in baseball history. Babe Ruth is behind you at number two. Yeah, that's a pretty cool stat, I <laughs> guess. Cool. Yeah, it's a good stat. Uh, you know, I, I don't like to pay, I guess I don't pay attention to that stuff, right? That it's just, I'm, I'm Every single day that you, you come to the field, you try to just stay consistent with your work and you try to get comfortable with your work. And then when you go out to the game, it's all about just competing. And, um, you know, it, it's just been one of those things where maybe this is where I get comfortable in my work and uh, I'm feeling comfortable at the plate. And, you know, but at the end of the day, it's just going out there trying to win a baseball game. And, and you know, it doesn't matter if it's, April, May, you know, June, July, August, September, October, going to October baseball, uh, you know, it's all about this one in a baseball game. Do you ever think about sports science? Does anybody ever say, okay, why is this with body or, or the head, mental, getting going in June? Um, not really. No, I, you know, I'm, I'm kind of a simple guy, I guess I would say. You know, I just like the, you know, I, I have pretty much the same routine throughout the whole year that I'll do the same, you know, going into the cage and doing my cage work. You know, coming out here off the machine, hitting some off the machine, uh, you know, taking batting practice when we have that available, and then, you know, go inside, get uh, get activated, get prepared, and then come out here on the line stretch when it's time to go. So, you know, I, I'm pretty simple. I don't really dig into the, the biomechanics aspects or, uh, you know, the, the launch angles, the numbers, anything like that. No, you know, I, the thing I try to do, if I can hit the baseball on the barrel of the bat, it's going to come out pretty good, and uh, if I can consistently do that, good things will happen. And as soon as June hit, you were just hitting bombs out of the park. What is it like to be in that that zone, or when you have that feel? Yeah, I mean, it, you know, I'll go to war with with anyone saying that hitting's a feeling, right? You know, you could look do the eye test and and look at video and say your your swing is perfect. But if you don't have that, that right feel that, you know, it's, it's not going to work, right? So as a hitter, we just try to, you know, when we have that feel, we just try to make it last for as long as possible because, you know, at the end of the day, we're, we're all human. It's going to end at some point. We're not robots. But, uh, you know, and we try to make those peaks and valleys very minimal when we get down to the valley. You know, we just try to make that very minimal. We always try to stay, stay the same guy every single day to where, you know, it doesn't matter if we're going to be a 4 for 4 over 4 We're still going to come in. We're going to get it working. We're going to be a great teammate, and we're going to put our best foot forward knowing that when we cross onto that field that we've done everything that we possibly can to have the, the, the results side. Now it's just going out there and competing. When you get a hold of a baseball, it, it – takes off a lot of times and you've got some moonshots when did you first start to notice that you had that i don't know if it's country strength what is it that that, that takeoff and that power yeah, i don't i don't know i guess um you know i've always I guess i've had it since high school i don't know uh you know football once i started playing some football uh getting into the weight room and things like that and being able to the lift for the first time and uh, you start developing and, you know, obviously as the older we get, the more developed we'll become and uh, it just kind of stuck with me. So, you know, it's not like, you know, I go up there and I'm just trying to hit the home runs and trying to hit the, the, the sexy moonshot, right? You know, there's, there's the game within the game too where, 
you know, you got a guy at second base, nobody out, you want to try to get that guy to third. Uh, you know, you want to try to drive him in as well, but the priority is making sure that guy gets to third base too. So, you know, there's also the situational hitting aspect of, of the game and trying to just make sure that you can get in as many runs as you can. Something obviously happened when Joe Girardi was let go because you guys have completely turned around your season. And some of them were talking about how they seem to have more conversation or more connectivity in the batting cage or just more talking and, and get coming together. Did you get a sense everybody got a lot, lot more comfortable with each other this month? Um, you know, I, I don't think that there was a, a rhyme or reason to why, you know, we, we got off the start that we give, right? That it, it's just that's the nature of the game. Um, you know, I just, I remember we were all talking in spring training saying that, you know what, that we have a really good team, but we could start off slow. We could have a bad April. We could have a bad May. But you know what? I, we're, we could have a really good June. We could have a good, really good July. We could have a really good August. So, you know, those are the those are things that th this game can bring to you. And, you know, obviously, um, you know, I think with all the new group of guys that we have, you know, that we're all getting to know each other a lot more. We're starting to know each other better, the, the ins and outs of us. And, uh, you know, I, I think it's just the nature of the game. And uh, as we keep getting to play with each other, we'll, we'll get to know each other more. Watching you guys pregame, you guys take a lot of swings. And, and sometimes you even have a little competition uh, amongst the guys before BP? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we, we usually try to get off the breaking ball machine. And, uh, you know, we come out, we like to get our swings, but also we play a little game within the game. We act like the bases are loaded. and. Uh, you know, try to get as many RBIs in as we can, and then we have a game off that. The low man's out, so we have a little, you know, we have a little friendly competition before uh, uh, batting practice and the game starts. But it's all in good, good nature. Just to get the competitive juices flowing a little bit before we we step out there. You know, when guys talk about you, they say you're a good guy and a really good clubhouse guy. And we we saw the situation with Alec Bohm, and we heard that you suggested or one of the guys suggested, like, just be honest. Be accountable. Be upfront with everybody. How important is it to you, the vibe in the clubhouse, being a good teammate, and, and maybe being a leader? Yeah, you know, I, I think that really good teams are obviously going to be, you know, one close. They like each other, and uh, we're all pulling for the same reasons. And um, you know, so that it's just something that I've always been around my whole career. You know, stepping into Chicago, I had really good uh, veterans around me that kind of shaped me the the way that a professional is. Uh, you know, having a John Lester, a John Lackey, a David Ross, Anthony Rizzo, Dexter Fowler, Jason Hayward. I can go on and on naming these guys that uh, you know they 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 kind of just mold you into you know always staying positive within the clubhouse and uh you know the the ins and outs the the unwritten rule kind of thing right and um you know it's just kind of stuck with me and it's just wherever i go now that's the guy that i always want to be is you know i just want to be as positive as i can and try to get the best out of my teammates because i know at the end of the day i want them to get the best out of me too obviously the big news with bryce harper being lost for a, a good while and he's having surgery on his thumb is there a mentality or is there anything that needs to be said in the clubhouse about trying to keep this team in it for when he hopefully comes back? Yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, unfortunate circumstance that you, you, you lose your, you know, the, the MVP last year, you lose the, uh, you lose the, you know, guy who's thrown up MVP numbers again. And uh, he, he's uh, just a great individual, great person. And, you know, the the lose a guy like that, and the lose a guy like Gene Segura too, that it just it stinks, right? So you just have to be able to, to keep moving, and you have to keep going, and you can't, you have to not think about it, right? You just have to keep going. Now, did you grow up a Red Sox fan in Ohio? No, no, no. I grew up a Cincinnati Reds fan. Cincinnati yeah. Reds, okay. Um, yeah. And then you know, you're you're in Chicago, and you're a part of the team that ends the drought in Chicago. That must have been incredibly special here in Philly. It's been 10 years since they have been in the playoffs. Are you kind of like the drought stopper? Are you, you coming here trying to help end this drought here? I mean, we trust us. Like, that's what, that's what we want to be. You know, we want to be a team that goes in, and we want to be a team that consistently goes into the playoffs, and we go deep into the playoffs. 
um, it's not it's not an easy thing to do and uh, you know it, it's a whole collective group an individual you know as a group that you know there's going to be times when we're all going right and we're all not going right and we all have to uh, you know make sure that when things are going right we're still the same people when things are going right we're going to take advantage of that and uh, you know at the end of the day if we do get to the uh, get to the playoffs then it, it's it's a whole new season it's a whole new thing it doesn't matter how we got there we just have to get there I was watching some of your home runs from when you were with Chicago and some of them I'm like I see it I don't see where the ball's going I'm like okay that's a foul ball out to left field and some of them travel out and it's a home run is there are there ever times where you're like wow I, I didn't even think I got a hold of that or put my full swing on it and the ball goes out or is there, is there something different with the baseballs then and now um you know I, I I'm not gonna be the guy who goes out there and says the baseballs are different from year to year or whatever it is but you know there obviously we're hitters and we need to make adjustments to you know if we feel like that we're getting baseballs that we feel like are are not being hit uh, over the fence or whatever it is, you know, we have to make the adjustment. So, uh, yeah, you know, you just have to go out there every single time and, just, it, and trust your work. Like I said, that's going to be the biggest thing is trust your work. And uh, the, whenever those results do come, we try to make it last as long as we can. Got some pretty cool walk-up music. <laughs> yeah. Bone Thugs and Harmony. I mean, how do you, how do you decide what you're going to go with? Do you change it up a lot? Well, uh, I've always had Bone Thugs, and I, I will give credit to a college teammate. He had his one of his walk-ups, and uh, when uh, you know I got to the big leagues, I was like, man, you know what? That would be a really cool walk-up, and this goes it in the minor leagues, and it just kind of stuck through. And you know, being from Ohio, that's a and uh, Bone Thugs from Cleveland, you know, kind of a little connection thing there. And uh, so I, I will give credit to Brian Cordy who, who used it. Uh, when we were in college together, and he's a Cincinnati guy too, so it's it's pretty cool. And you got cult of personality. Yeah, yeah, little uh, little rock, you know. But uh, you know, had a little connection there in the Chicago too with that song. So then it just kind of always stuck with me, cult of personality, and uh, you know, kind of chose to do one here with Fantastic Voyage. But uh, <laughs> you know, but uh, you know, that's what we want to do. We going to want to go on a nice little voyage here. So you know, it's a long season. And uh, we just got to make every day count. A couple more questions for you. Um, when you were in high school, so you played baseball, played linebacker, and we saw the video of you in the show choir. Some singing, some dancing. Um, what, did you, what did you get out of that? Are there any things from that or football, whether it's physical, mental, whatever, that you can use as a baseball player? Um, yeah. <laughs> I would say when, you know, the show choir thing, the footwork thing, right, things like that, and, uh, you know, being in high school, you know, high school football, you know, uh, just kind of the, the mentality aspect of, you know, the, the never, uh, you know, especially being on the defense side of the, the football there, you know, you're, you're just trying to stop someone. And when they, they keep, uh, you know, driving, things like that, your back's up against the wall, what are you going to do? You have to respond. So, you know, those are just kind of the uh, the things that have always stuck with me, uh, you know, with football and, you know, obviously show choir. We had a lot of athletes do it, and it was a lot of, it was a lot of fun and kind of gets you out of your comfort zone, right? So uh, being out of your comfort zone to now, uh, you know, you're in a football stadium. Or, sorry, not a football, a baseball stadium in front of 40,000, you know, that it can be a little uncomfortable at some time. So you just have to keep going. Can we ever get you to sing the anthem? No, absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> no shot, huh? No shot. No <laughs> shot. <laughs> All right. Final question for you. Have you ever done anything crazy in your career when you were in a slump to try to bust out of the slump, break a slump? No. I heard some guys wear a thong or something. <laughs> like, I, I've never gone to those extremes. No, I have never gone to those extremes. Uh, you know, I, I guess maybe switching bats, right? Yeah. Just trying to trick yourself yeah. into things like that. I don't know. Uh, I'm not the biggest superstitious kind of guy, I would say. So, you know, I just believe for me that, you know what, I just got to go out there and I just got to keep working and put in the work. Yeah. Well, we appreciate no, the thank time you. catching appreciate up with it, you. Man. Thank you. And uh, hope you're enjoying Philly and getting used oh, to it love and the it. fans. Love it. Yeah. yeah, this is, you know, being able to play here as a visiting uh, player uh, and seeing the, the passion and the uh, way that they go out there and they want their teams to win, 
you know, that it's something that you, you strive for, right? And that's what we want to do on a consistent basis is go out there and win, right? You know, there's going to be times that we're going to have great ones. There's going to be times that we have ugly ones. There's going to be times that we have, uh, you know, they just, they're just going to beat us. Yeah. Then there's going to be times that we have a bad loss, right? It's just the nature of our game that we play so many of them that you're going to see so many different things throughout a year. But, you know, the, the, the have the consistent fan base and the way that they want you to win and they want you to go out there and, and play to your best, you, you can only respect that. And I, and I have, have a whole new respect for being able to be here as a home player now. Well, that's great. Best wishes the rest of the way. We're glad you're here in Philly. Thank you. Thank you. It. Appreciate it. Kyle Schwarber, everybody. Greatest. Oh, I'm so flagrant.